It always sounds good, Tom. Thank you for that. A wave to remove statues and ties to Confederacy reaches southeastern Wisconsin. A pair of Racine Horlick High School alumni started a petition to change the school's nickname, which is Rebels, calling it racist and oppressive. Fox 6's Sam Kramer has a look at the nickname, nickname's history with reaction from the district tonight. For athletes, it's a calling card, but to others, the Horlick High Rebels nickname is anything but. I see it as glorifying people who, who, stole, who stole black people from their homes and enslaved them and, and tried to fight for their right to enslave them. That's why Horlick alumni Shannon Campion and Ahmad Cowie launched a petition hoping to change the school's nickname, saying now's the time to act on racial injustice and help more students, especially those of color, feel comfortable at school. We want to move forward as a school, as an education system, as a city, as a society. We have to make tiny changes. Before moving forward, let's take a look back. The Racine Unified School District confirms the Rebel nickname began in the late 1940s, tied to their successful basketball coach Russ Rebholz, a former UW Badger football star. There was never an intent initially for it to be associated with any sort of Confederate soldier as far as our history tells us. The Confederate soldier mascot came sometime after that, but when students spoke up about their concerns in 2017, the mascot and any other imagery in the school were all removed after a student vote. At the time, they chose to keep the rebel's name. Everything changes when the time is right. So I feel like right now, the time is right. Though it's unclear if it will stay this time around. In Racine, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. The Racine Unified School District says they had an excellent collaboration between students and administrators upon removing the soldier mascot in 2017. And they say they are open to further dialogue and potential changes moving forward.